Hello, today I'm going to be teaching you a small lesson known as PEMDAS or Order of Operations. Now what is PEMDAS? PEMDAS is an acronym used to help you with the Order of Operations and to me it is the easiest way to remember how to do the Order of Operations. First you start off with the P which is known as the parentheses and then you start off with E for exponents, M is for multiply, D is for divide, A is for add, S is for subtract. Now what can these be used for? First let's start off with a simple problem that can, you can use this for. Let's start off with 5 plus 2 times 3. First now you go down the list of PEMDAS. Are there any parentheses? There are no parentheses in this problem. Exponents? There's no exponents. Multiply. You do have to multiply in this problem. So now you, what you'll do is you'll multiply the 2 and the 3 to get 6. And then after that you'll look, divide, there's no division, add, there is adding. So what do you do? You bring this 5 and the plus sign down, you do 5 plus 6, and then you get 11 as your final answer, which is how you do that. Now if you did it incorrectly, you would have had something that looked like this. You had the same problem and you would have gone left to right as most people do when they do math. And you would have had 7 and times 3 equals 21, which is not the same as 11. Now, what about when you have exponents and parentheses? So let's start off with that. Let's do parentheses 2 times 3 plus 4 squared minus 1. So how do you do this? First you do the parentheses. Well, look, there is parentheses. So you do everything inside of the parentheses to start with. So 2 times 3 is 6. Now that's done. Now what do you do? Exponents. There is exponents. So 4 squared. What is 4 squared? 16. So what you're going to do also is bring down this plus sign to keep the problem going. Then you're going to bring down this 1 minus 1. So now what do you have? You always go left to right. Is there any adding to do? Yes. 6 plus 16. So you're going to get 22. And then you're going to subtract after that. So 22 minus 1 equals 21 as your final answer. Now it also just so happens that if you had gone left to right in this, you would have had 6 plus 4 squared minus 1. So it would have been the same thing, but you could have messed up if you had just done 6 plus 4 and then squared that, which would have been 36, and you would have gotten 35 as your final answer. But instead, the correct answer is actually 21. So now let's do one last one, and let's do, let's, let's do a doozy. Let's do, let's do a doozy. So we're going to do 4 plus 5 times 3 parentheses minus parentheses, 2 minus 1 parentheses squared. So how are we going to do this one? First you do parentheses, you do everything inside the parentheses. Alright, so in parentheses for the first one, oh, well there's multiplication and addition, so how do you do that? What you do is you go down the PEMDAS, the order of operations, and you do the multiplication first. So you're going to bring this 4 and plus down, you're going to do this, 5 times 3 is 15, and then you're going to add 4 plus 15, so then you have parentheses 19, you're going to bring down that minus, and then you have 2 minus 1, so you do everything in the parentheses first, so you have 1 parentheses, but then you still have that squared on the outside. So now you have to do that, so you get 1 squared, which is 1. So now you have parentheses 19 minus parentheses 1. So the final answer is just 19 minus 1 subtraction, and 18 is your final answer for that one. Now, PEMDAS can be extremely helpful. It is the most recognizable acronym for order of operations. and it is, as you see, very easy to follow. You just follow the list left to right, all these simple instructions, and you can have PEMDAS mastered in no time.